Hello, I'm Roger Bisby from Skill Builder and I've come up to the Marley Training Centre in Burton-on-Trent to look at a dry verge fixing system. Now these days with the standards changing it's no longer acceptable to bed the verges and sand and cement because it doesn't give you that tensile strength, it won't withstand the wind lift if you get a storm. So what everybody's concentrating now on is coming up with different ways of mechanically fixing the tiles. Now we've got a thin leading edge here and we've also got some thicker tiles around the other side, both large format, but this system will also work with a medium format tile. So we're gonna crack on, have a go at it and see how it works. Now, first things first, we've got the over sailing batten here, which is 50 millimeters. We haven't actually put a fascia on here, but just imagine there is a fascia, so the batten sails 50 millimeters past that fascia. Bit of standard thing, but worth mentioning. Right, so the first part of this system is a clip, which you put on top of the fascia, or if in this case you've got a fascia vent there, you can stick it on top of it and just drive it in with a couple of screws and that forms the first fixing. All right, so we've got this little bird guard that goes in and we just push it down till it clicks in place there. And we seem to oscillate between providing places for birds and stopping places for birds, don't we? So that's the little clip that goes into place. Stop it, oh, we just tap it home. Give it a very, very gentle little tap. Any hole I like here in the middle. Just worth mentioning, it's a ring shank nail every time, these fixings. Nice little aluminium head. Okay, so now the next one goes on top, but it's worth mentioning here, I'm not putting a nail in here. You could put a nail in there, I probably would actually, but because we clipped the tile at the bottom, we've got a mechanical fixing there, and this actually counts as a mechanical fixing. So there's no need to put an additional fixing in there, except that I'm a bit of a belt and braces man, so I'd do it. And then, uh, we've got to slide this sort of, what, what would we call this, tongue and groove really. Yeah, this, this little dovetail system, this tongue and groove here, is going to make that interlock, but because we've got a thin leading edge tile here, that little flap, which is basically there for the, when you've got a thicker tile, we can just fold that up out of the way, and hopefully, I'm gonna go on there, and slide it up, yeah. Oh, that won't do it. It did do it. Like me, some things are easier than you think, aren't they? This is just to show you, because this is a training rig, we've got different tiles on that side to on that side, so it won't work out perfectly, but if you've got the same tiles on either side and you've gauged it right, this would fit very neatly onto there. So a very neat and elegant solution. As I say, if you've got the right tiles on there, and then obviously you just fix it through, now through there, now through there and the job's done. So that, in a nutshell, is the Marley Eternit Dry Verge Fixing System, universal, don't forget the universal, because it fits the large format and the medium format, and the thin and the thick tiles. But I must say, 
I found that so easy, I couldn't believe it. I was expecting to come up here and do a day's work. A few minutes, it's done. And of course you can do it in any weather and it does comply with that need for mechanical fixings at the verge. So when that storm picks up, your verge won't be blowing off. I'm Roger Bisbee, thanks very much for watching. Come back to Skill Builder soon because we've got loads more coming up in the near future. How to's, tool tests, all the usual things. And if you subscribe, we'll keep you updated automatically.